So you may sometimes want to detect if a visitor to your page is using an ad blocker. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a pure JavaScript solution for how you can do that. So to prepare, I've created this basic HTML document. It has some basic styling applied to it, a title, some text, and that is it for the content. Now, just before the closing body tag, it's linked to script.js, and that's what we're interested in in this tutorial. We're going to be creating a script that can be linked in any HTML document like this, regardless of the content, and we'll detect whether a visitor to a page is using an ad blocker. So let's head over to script.js, and we'll start with the solution. So I'm going to place the solution inside a function, and I'm going to call this ad block detector. And I'm putting the solution inside a function A, so we don't clutter the global scope, and B, so you could use this function in any project and the solution is all self-contained. So the first thing I want to do is append some HTML to add detect .html at the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to say document.body in a HTML and then I'm going to use the append operator followed by some HTML and I'm going to put that inside a template string so there's little chance of an escape. Now what I want to append here is a div and I'm going to give this a class here. Now the class name is very important because the way ad blockers work they search for probable ad elements and then change the CSS, which we're going to be detecting later in the function. But first of all, what we want to do is make the ad blocker believe that this is an ad element, so it makes that change. So the one that I've tested in Chrome and works with the popular ad block extension is Ads by Google. So we're sort of creating a bait here so that the ad blocker makes some changes to this div, which we're later going to detect. And and I'm going to give this an ID of test ad. And we don't need any content in the div. We just, so we'll just close that off now. So the next thing I want to do is select the element that I just appended to the DOM. So I'll use get element by ID. And the ID is test ad. And I'm going to give that a variable name of test ad. Now what I want to do is to check the CSS of test ad because if a user is using an ad blocker, then the ad blocker should have changed the CSS of test ad by this point. I can get the CSS properties of test ad by calling window.getComputedStyle and then passing in test ad and that's going to get all of the CSS properties of test ad for me in a JavaScript object. Uh, now because this is available on the global window I can omit this part. And I'm going to save this in a variable called test ad styles. So what I need to do to determine if the user is actually using an ad blocker is to test if some of the CSS styling on this suspected add element, whether some of those have changed since I appended them to the DOM. And I can do that by querying the test add style object. One of the properties that is very commonly changed by an ad blocker is display. And this is changed to none, so the ad is no longer visible to the user. So if that is the case, I'm going to log a message to the console where ad blocker detected. Okay, otherwise, I'll log a message down here saying no ad blocker detected. Now there's still one change we need to make to this function, and that is because ad blockers tend to not kick in until the page has fully loaded. So if we fire this function immediately, then the ad blocker won't be changing the display to none and we won't be able to detect if the user's using an ad blocker or not. It will say no ad blocker detected because none of the CSS properties will have changed. So to fix that, 
I wrap this entire solution inside of a timeout and a second is usually enough here. So I'm just going to stick with that. You could make it a little longer if you want to be on the safe side, but a second is usually sufficient time for an ad blocker to work. So the final thing I need to do is to call this function. So it runs when we load the page. And now I'm going to head over to the browser to see the result. So a tip for testing the ad blocker, don't do it locally because most ad blockers don't work if you're using them locally. So you can see here that if I open my console, no ad blocker detected, even though I have my ad blocker running. So I'm going to upload this page and script to an external server and test it there. So I've loaded the file onto an external server now. So I'm going to refresh and see what it says in the console log this time. So this time it's detected that an ad blocker is running and that is correct because my ad blocker is still turned on. Now I'm going to turn it off. Pause on all sites, reload. And this time no ad blocker has been detected. So that is the technical side working correctly. We are able to determine if a visitor to the page is using an ad blocker. This still leaves open the question of how you should handle uh, ad blocker detection. So my advice would be do not um, prevent the user from accessing uh, the content of the page because this is only going to lead to a greater bounce rate which isn't going to improve your search engine rankings. What I would suggest instead, this is my favorite solution, is to create a banner like this where I've created a div here and then inside the div I'm creating, I'm writing this following message, ad blocker detected. To keep our services free, we use advertising. Please consider supporting us by disabling your ad blocker. And then setting the attribute, class attributes, to red background with white uh, text with the full screen, some padding and slightly larger font size. Now, normally you would be changing this in your CSS style sheet, but here I'm setting the properties directly on the element so we can keep this as a pure JavaScript solution. And then I prepend the banner. So I'm gonna upload this script to the server and we'll see what it looks like. So I've uploaded this file to the server. Now I'm gonna head over to the browser. I need to turn on my ad blocker. So resume blocking ads. I refresh the page and now the banner should appear at the top. So with this solution, we're not preventing the user from accessing any of the content, which is good because it shouldn't increase our bounce rate, but we are appealing to their better nature to disable their ad blocker to continue using this service for free. So another solution you may want to try instead is replacing your existing third party advertisement with an advertisement of your own that wouldn't be picked up by an ad blocker. So imagine instead of this banner up here, you had a third party ad and that's been blocked by the ad blocker. Now, instead of having a banner, you could replace it with your own banner. What I'm going to do here is just copy and paste in a very simple solution. So I'm not using my own banner ad here. I'm just, what I'm doing here is I'm creating an image element. I'm setting the source and then I'm prepending that to my page. Now, because this isn't an ad, it is going to display on my page, even though I'm running an ad blocker. So I'm going to upload this to the server now. Now, so now if I head over to the browser, you are going to see an image that is loaded like this. So I refresh the page, it finds that I'm using an ad blocker and it loads this replacement image. Now, if I am using my ad blocker, then the image is not going to load and instead your third party banner ad would be loaded there. So in this else clause, you could have a console log or you could just completely delete this else clause if you want to because if there's no ad blocker detected, then there's no action you need to take. Your third party ads are going to load. So that is it for this tutorial on how you can create an ad block detector 
using pure JavaScript. If you'd like to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel.